Hey guys, I'm traveling once again out here in the city. I was really hoping that I'd be able to get out before the sun went down and do some street photography, but unfortunately that was not in the cards. I, it's 7 p.m. The sun is long since gone down and I am just now wrapping up work. Work, man. Sometimes it gets the best of you. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty beat and I have a choice. I could either do what my body's telling me to do, and that is to lay on this here king-sized, squishy, wonderful um, bed and just veg out, turn on the Netflix, and just be mindlessly entertained like my body is telling me to do? Or should I grab the gear and go out and try to make some art? I think we all know what Andrew's gonna do. Art. Art may be a strong term for what I'm doing tonight. I'm actually doing something a little gimmicky, I think. It's not, not something I normally do, but in this case, um, I needed a little motivation to get out. So what I brought with me this time was something really weird, something super challenging, and it's actually a right angle lens attachment. Um, this guy's gonna put whatever I shoot at a right angle. It's called the Bauer Mirror Attachment, and it's, it's pretty weird. Somebody told me about this, and I just thought it was hilarious, and I thought it'd be interesting to try this out on the train tonight. And you know, the, probably the, <laughs> the time you'd use this if you were up to no good, probably, some uh, ninja-style street photography. And I'm actually not usually a fan of that. If I'm doing street photography, I want to be okay with people knowing what I'm doing, and, and uh, it's just not my style. So I'm sure I'll get some flack in the comments, but you know, whatever. This is for fun, mostly, and for a chance to be motivated and doing something interesting. I think this is my train. Now the other challenge is that I've had with this is that it's a 49 millimeter filter thread so there's not many lenses I have that'll work with it. And the lens that I'm shooting with is the 35 millimeter f2 with a step up ring. Um, I know on Amazon they sell these with a 52 millimeter thread and I got this on eBay instead of Amazon. I wish I had gotten the Amazon one because 52 millimeter thread would have been a little bit better. As it is with this, it's got some interesting vignetting. The vignetting looks sort of like a kaleidoscope almost uh, because there's a mirror surrounding it. So it's actually an interesting effect. I don't know whether I'm gonna crop the photos or keep the vignetting. I guess you'll have seen them already so you'll know before I do. While certainly not the intention of the manufacturer, with the flip screen I realized I could actually do selfie b-roll and photos much easier than without this attachment. But where this lens really shines is helping you get sneaky photos of people on phones. But do you need a spy lens attachment to get sneaky photos of people on their phones? No. No you don't. But of all the photos, this is the one that made the whole night worth it. I love the tones, the shapes, the way the light guides the eye through the composition. Is this art? Who knows? But having it makes me feel better about what happened next. But it, shooting with this lens, I don't know how stealthy it really is, because there is this mirror and it kind of reflect a lot of light. Catches, it can catch, actually catch attention and draw people to it. So, I mean, you could get something like this if you wanted to be ninja style, but I i don't know. I don't know how. I'm not recommending it for that. Let's just say that. Um, I will say this. It, what I've learned so far tonight is that if you want it to be, if you want to be 
stealthy, I guess, and you want to have the most success or the most luck, go to where you know people will be walking and find something interesting in front of you that it looks like you'd be shooting and then shoot from one side or the other. Uh, that seems to be a way I would, <laughs> I would do it. This is, if this was a legitimate technique, uh, I'm, again, I'm not recommending this. Aside from that, it's pretty fun. I've had fun tonight. Um, I'm actually about done now. Um, by now, you will have seen the photos. However, um, not much B-roll. Unfortunately, it kind of breaks my heart to say this, but I misplaced my GoPro at some point. I've been jumping on and off trains. Um, and at some point I left it in the seat and that sucks. So I'm leaving with a little bit of a downer tonight, uh, bad news, but I do hope that you enjoyed it either way, that there was something interesting in this video. Um, should I have just stayed in bed and watched Netflix? Maybe, maybe I should have. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again real soon.